Dear Terox community, welcome to our weekly crypto news and market update video. And today, there is a new milestone. There are only 2 million Bitcoin left to mine. So, 19 million Bitcoins are already mined. And the community, of course, pushed this and published this everywhere. And that now there will be a new age of mining due to this may seem like a small number at first glance these two million but i believe that the best days of mining are still ahead us due to the total circulating supply of bitcoin will be lower over the next years basically and there won't coming new bitcoins all in all so if the adoption is rising and there is no inflation in bitcoin the price usually should go up and there are the same costs of mining Bitcoin for electricity, but it's harder to mine. So the price per Bitcoin is going up as well. So people should be paying more for a Bitcoin in theory. Let's see what will happen. But here you can see what all the halvings are doing with the Bitcoin. The last Bitcoin will be mined around 2140. So none of us will uh, be live on this event. Now, this is showing that there is a long-term vision for Bitcoin and the industry. Opera integrates Bitcoin, Solana, Polygon and five other blockchain with the new browser, the crypto browser. With Polygon and a partnership, they did a wallet and browser and everything you need for this crypto adaption. And now they want to be a big player in Web3 and in digital assets. More than 380 million people using Opera and Opera stated Ultimately, Web3 is on its way to becoming mainstream web technology and users won't need to know they're interacting with it. So this could be a game changer and the long term vision too when web browsers integrating wallets for everyone and easy to use wallets as well. So this is a German article, but I just want to show it. It's about European Union and unhosted wallets. It will going down for unhosted wallets. The European Parliament said that they want to track everything above $1,000 and they want KYC for everything. And this would be the end for Ledger, Treasure, Metermark, Trust Wallet and everything else, you know, and as well for the DeFi sector. This could be a breakdown of the innovative crypto space for the European Union. This was just a poll right now. So this is not the fixed thing to come, but we need to take a closer look on this to do this can change everything. The last week, seven day performance, altcoins green, Bitcoin red. So nothing really happened over here. Altcoins pushed as Bitcoin could not gain more momentum. And this is what we can see in the market cap. We saw more or less a sideways movement above the week. And if you're thinking about this, that Bitcoin dominance is nearly 40%, it's clear that if Bitcoin is going down and we're having a slight uptrend in the market cap, that the altcoins performed quite good. Taking a look on Bitcoin, I just put everything we need to know inside over here. So basically, we built a resistance at 48k. We touched it multiple times, always got rejected. Now, quite interesting, in these rejections, we never ever saw huge sell-offs. So there was a support building at around... 46,800. At the European Parliament had this poll voting, the market went down nearly 7%. Build a support down here at 44,400, where we starting this uptrend from. So the market really respected all these levels. We then went up and touched the former support, now being a resistance once and twice and always got rejected harsh but again to the exact same support levels. So the market is playing beautiful schemes at the moment. And now the Monday opening was not that bullish. Market is looking for direction. As long as we're staying above 45, 700, everything is fine. If we're going below, we can easily touch the resistance at near 44. There is hope for touching 48 and then 50K, but we need to see what will happen for first moment the weekly start was not very bullish. The market is respecting all the resistances and smaller support as well. This is indicating that there is not huge volume in the market at the moment. Taking a look on the altcoins, then we can easily see that this went quite a contrary way to Bitcoin. Solana went straight up 
after the OpenC integration announcement, then of course as well resistance building and now losing a little bit momentum. This as well could indicating a negative market for the next days, but we need to see what will happen as well as Solana now down from the tops 7 to 8 percent. But if this momentum can continue in this trend, we can easily see a support building and then a trend to the top any time. So keep an eye on this. Altcoin with momentum could go strong, but as well keep an eye on this that they already went strong. So there's a huge risk to invest right now. I hope you like this video. If you do so, I would love to comment, like or share this video. And we will hear us next time when it comes to weekly crypto news and market update provided by T-Rocks.